Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you are getting this type of problem on your iPhone or iPad device while browsing on Safari browser. Safari cannot open the page because the server cannot be found. So in this video, I'll show you how you can easily fix this problem. Here, you'll have to watch this video completely so that you'll be able to fix this problem on your iPhone or iPad device. So now let's get started how you can fix this problem. First of all, here, you will need to open setting on your iPhone or iPad device. So the first thing you'll have to make sure that the strong internet connectivity. So because the weak internet connectivity can be the reason of this problem. So here, make sure that you are using strong internet connection. If you're using Wi-Fi, then here you'll have to disconnect with the Wi-Fi and reconnect it again. And if you're using mobile phone data, you will have to turn off your mobile data and turn it on again. After that, check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having this problem, then here you will have to again open setting, then scroll it below, then tap on screen time. Then here you will need to again scroll it below and here tap on content and privacy restrictions. Then here you will have to make sure that the content and privacy restrictions should be turned off from here. So here you will need to turn off this from here. And after that here you will have to make sure that all the options are allowed from here. Here make sure that no option should be disallowed from here. Then after that here you need to tap on content restrictions. Then here wait a while. And here make sure that also all options are allowed from here. And here the option of web content. You will need to tap on this. And here you will have to select the unrestricted form here. Then after that go back and here you will need again open setting. Then here scroll it below. So here you need to scroll it below and here tap on general. Then tap on soft update and here make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS. If you don't have an updated version of iOS, then you will have to make sure that you are using an updated version of iOS. Then after that here you will need again open setting, then tap on general, then scroll it below and here tap on date and time and here make sure that your iPhone date and time is correct and the set automatically is turned on from here. Then after that again open setting, then tap on general, and then here tap on VPN in device management and here make sure that your iPhone device is not connected with any VPN. Then after that check that the problem fixed or not. If you are having still this problem, then here move to the next solution, open again setting, then scroll it below and here you will need to search for Safari browser. So here is Safari, you will need to tap on this, then scroll it below and here you will need to tap on clear history and website data. Then here you will need to tap on clear history from here. Then after that scroll it below, tap on advanced and here you'll need to tap on website data. And from here you'll need to delete all the available website data from here. Then after that go back and check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having still this problem, then again open setting, then tap on general. Then again scroll it below and here you'll need to tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Then here tap on reset, then tap on reset network setting. So after that hopefully your problem will be fixed and you'll be able to use Safari browser on your iPhone or iPad device. So that's it from this video. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video, then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.